Street Rod Headquarters, your single source street rod provider, proudly presents JF Customs TV. J.F. Lanier, trendsetter of the year at SEMA, the new face of automotive television. Well, most people would describe it as a rusted out piece of junk, but a South Okanagan man had a much different vision when he bought it. But car enthusiast J.F. Lanier saw something in the beat up 1951 Kaiser that no one else did. He's being recognized for turning that wreck into one of the nicest custom built cars in North America. We are design driven, lifestyle oriented, unique but diverse, young but highly experienced, ambitious. We are JF Customs. You're watching JF Customs TV. Last week on JF Customs TV, with the completion of Jim's 1972 Plymouth satellite, he was able to take his dream car home after buttoning up the stock interior. Jim brought the car back for us all to see. He also shares his thoughts on the project. Later in this episode, we'll also give you an update on JF's latest creation, the Buick Riviera. You don't want to miss his personally guided tour. It's time to take our good friend Lee, his 1951 Mercury pickup. Now that the paint is done, the timing is perfect as Lee has just finished another incredible interior for us in Bob's 1951 Dodge. Baxter's custom upholstery wow. never ceases to amaze. Not to be outdone by his dad. Calvin tells us all about his latest creation, Doug's 1967 Chevelle. You won't want to miss his reaction at seeing his finished car for the first time. And kids, if you ever wonder what Santa does in the off season, he goes by the street name Ken and checks in on JF and the boys periodically. In an automotive world full of people who want to be heroes, there's a young Canadian team that has impacted the industry at a whole new level. The team will be right back. This episode is sponsored by Lordco, Flowmaster, Canadian Hot Rod Magazine, A and W, Curtis Speed Wheels. You're watching JF Customs TV. My buddy's playing pranks on me. My buddy from California, Mike Curtis, just sent us some really bitching wheels. But it looks like he was playing with us a little bit. Maple Leafs thinking he's funny. I love Canada. Where's my back bacon? Hey. Something the Americans don't understand is that we here in Canada don't use Canadian back bacon. We just have regular bacon and ham. That's it. Ready? You guys ready? Can I see my wheels? <laughs> Look at that. Well, the typical Curtis Speed style. Those are absolutely beautiful. With the wheels barely out of their boxes, JF can't resist mounting the tires. As it's done by hand, he grabbed the whole family to help out. And you know what? I think this is the first time that we have footage of the four of them all working together. Now that's teamwork. Yay, team! <laughs> Now that the Chevelle is fully assembled, Kelvin has decided to be a funny guy and gave us a little show. All yours. So this is the first car I've ever built, okay? So my dad's friend Mike shipped some, Mike from California, shipped some custom wheels up just for me. And um, we did the upholstery last week and we took a, a motor out of a 1970s 
74, uh, I don't know. I took the motor out of a 1999 Toyota Tercel and put it under the hood. I drove around the block and she runs like a child. On the serious side, all the guys are busy getting ready to welcome Doug when he arrives to pick up the Chevelle. Borrowing a few tricks from past photo shoots, the concrete is kept wet. The reflections both of the car and on the car really help showcase the end result. Some of our buddies came by as well to see the finished product. Ken made the trip over the mountain for the event and Fred stopped by in his beautiful 1955 Chevy. When we come back from the break, JF will take you on a tour of the Riviera Project. And Jim is going to talk with us about his 1972 satellite and working with JF Customs. You're watching JF Customs TV. We're sitting in front of JF Customs. This is where the car was overhauled. It started out in my garage as a, basically a Hulk that was stripped of uh, all undercoat and all paint, brought here on a trailer on a rotisserie. Over the course of three months, did all the sheet metal work, all the body work, and all the paint to what we have here now. The 1972 Plymouth Satellite, and this car has been my dream car since 1981 when I first saw one. My friend Tim had three, one for a driver, two others for parts. I'm more than happy with the work that was done. I, I don't think I could ask for anything beyond perfection which is what I'm standing next to. And that concludes another cool project at JF Customs. And now, the moment that everyone has been waiting for, Doug's arrival. Let's go on a little road trip with JF. All right, so the audio or video recap of the day so far is that we've blown the transmission in this truck. We had to meet Lee at the bottom of his hill, have him pick up his truck on the side of the road. Right now we're going, because I've got a customer that lives close, we're gonna go visit them for a half hour, drive this truck home with no trailer, and hopefully when the rescue truck comes, we can still go get the car from a pole street show you guys how awesome a job Lee does.